Okay, the next lesson we're going to look at is altitudes. Okay, so an altitude is first and foremost, it's a straight line. Now that means to find its equation, we're going to need point and gradient. So an altitude is a straight line that comes from a vertex. A vertex is just a corner. So it comes from a vertex and cuts a line at a right angle. All triangles have three altitudes. And I'm just about to show you that just now. Okay, so there is a triangle. Now each triangle has got three vertices. A vertice, a vertex is just the corner of the triangle, and for plural that would be vertices. So I'm going to draw the altitude from there. So it comes from the vertex and it will cut the opposite line at a right angle. So that would look like this. So there's altitude 1. Now the altitude from here, it would come from the corner again and cut at a right angle. So that one would look like that. It cuts at a right angle. And then finally the altitude from here comes from the corner and cuts at a right angle. Now altitudes don't have anything to do with midpoint because it doesn't say that it's got anything to do with that. It's just that it comes from a vertex and cuts an opposite line at a right angle. So there's altitude 1, comes from the vertex, cuts the opposite line at a right angle. There's altitude 2, comes from the vertex and cuts the opposite line at a right angle. And there's altitude 3, comes from a vertex and cuts the opposite line at a right angle. So all triangles have three altitudes. We're going to find the equation of altitudes. We need a point that lies on the line and the gradient of line. So let's try an example one. Okay, example one. Triangle. ABC has coordinates A27, B4-1, and C-43. Find the equation of the altitude AD. Okay, so find the altitude AD. So first of all, I'm going to draw out this triangle. So the triangle may look a bit like this. Okay, so there's the point A27. There's the point B4-1. And there's the point C-4-3. Okay, we're looking to find the equation of the altitude AD. So it must come from A. And it cuts here at a right angle. And that opposite side we're going to label that as D so that's the altitude AD. Okay so we now need to find the equation of this altitude. Now remember that an altitude is a straight line so what I need is point and gradient. So I need any point that lies in the line. Now because the altitude comes from a point I can use that as the point that lies on the line. So the point that lies on the line that I'm going to label AB that's that one. Two, seven. So now what I need to do is to find the gradient of the altitude. So 
to get that, I'm going to first of all have to find the gradient of this line BC, and then I'll need to use the relationship between perpendicular lines to then find the gradient of the altitude. So the first move is to find the gradient of BC. Okay, so MBC equals or MCB is the same thing. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So it's going to be minus 1 minus 3 over 4 minus minus 4. 4 minus minus 4. Okay, so that will give me minus 4 over 8. And I simplify that down to minus 1 half. I then use the relationship between perpendicular lines. M1, M2 equals minus 1. So what I do now is I flip that minus 1 over 2 over and change the sign to give me positive 2 over 1. But then I wouldn't leave that as that. Positive 2 over 1 is just 2. So now I've got the gradient 2, I've got the point 2, 7, and I sub that into y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. So that's y minus b, 7, is equal to m, 2, bracket x minus a, x minus 2. That's y minus 7 is equal to 2x minus 4. Bring the minus 7 across, change its sign, y equals 2x minus 4 plus 7. Final answer, y equals 2x plus 3. Okay, I'm now going to use the same triangle, but look for a different altitude this time. I'm going to find the altitude this time, which is a, A. So I'm going to find the equation of the altitude, which is going to be not A, but B, E. Okay. So it comes from B and it's going to cut the opposite line at a right angle. Okay. So to find the equation of altitude, what I need, I need point and gradient. Well, I've got a point that lies on the line. That's the point 4 minus 1. So that lies on the altitude. But now I need to find the gradient of the altitude. Now I'll do that by finding the gradient of CA and using that relationship with perpendicular lines. So MCA equals Y2 minus Y1, 7 minus 3, over X2 minus X1, 2 minus minus 4. Okay, 7 minus 3 is 4, 2 minus minus 4 is 2 plus 4, that's 6. I then look to simplify that. 4 over 6 can be simplified down to 2 thirds. It's then m1, m2 equals minus 1. And then I'll flip this over and change its sign to get minus 3 over 2. And let's just pause and explain what we're doing again. So we're finding the equation of this green line, which is the altitude. So I need point and gradient. Now point is dead easy because I've got a point that lies on the line. That's B, so that acts as AB. I then find the gradient of this line and then M1 and M2 equals minus 1 to find the gradient of the green line minus 3 over 2. It's then into Y minus B equals M bracket X minus A. And it's Y minus B, which is Y minus minus 1 is equal to the gradient, minus 3 over 2, bracket x minus a, x minus 4. I'm now going to eliminate the 2 on the bottom by multiplying through by 2. I'll first of all tidy this up, y minus minus 1 is y plus 1, is equal to minus 3 over 2, bracket x minus 4. Okay, then multiply through by 2, 2y two plus 2, is equal to minus 3 bracket x minus 4. 2y plus 2 is equal to minus 3x. And then minus 3 times minus 4 is plus 12. Move that over, change the sign. The plus 2, 2y equals minus 3x plus 12 minus 2. And then final answer, 2y equals minus 3x plus 10. Okay, now you try... This question A is the point 2 minus 4, B is 3, 1, and C is minus 5, 0. Sketch that out and then draw an altitude from the point A. You could call it, for example, AD and find the equation of that altitude from A.